Hey, you guys finally made it. I was searching for hours, still didn't see any sign of those three, so uh, I decided to come back. How about you? Find anything? Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Hmm, I see. So you came up empty-handed, too. Well, it doesn't matter. I already came up with a new plan. Huh? What plan? Shinobu told me a saying after she got back from studying in Liyue. It went something like, uh, the something by day becomes, uh, something by night? Yeah, that's what I said. Come on, keep up. Anyway, I was so focused on scaring people last round that those three dressed up as ghosts caught me completely off guard. But not this time. Oh no, I'll be hiding nearby and waiting for those three to emerge first, and then I'll nail him with a surprise attack. You two just gotta keep playing it natural and join the contest, got it? Okay, see you later. Maiden, so we can join the second round. Whoa! Congratulations on winning the first round of the test of courage. Now you're one step closer to the dark, messy truth. But is that really a good thing? Ooh. Hey! Cut the nonsense! What we just saw was super terrifying! Oh, really? Good to hear. Hearing the word super terrifying is exactly what all us event organizers would like to hear. Uh, no, that's not what Paimon means! Something mysterious is also happening here, not just the event! So what? You've heard the stories about the Test of Courage, haven't you? Everyone who participates in the event faces a variety of emotions. People are afraid of seeing their innermost fears appear before them, and yet they still seek the thrill of experiencing those fears. So, isn't it natural for us to have things in the dark and deathly silent forest to help fulfill that experience? Just like the grinning monster standing behind you right now, waiting for you to turn around! I knew a little trick like that wouldn't be enough to scare you off. So, congrats on passing this test. The second round of the Test of Courage will begin shortly. Have you found your partner yet? Huh? But don't we already have a partner from the last round? Yes, your team's outstanding efforts certainly won you the last round. So it's understandable that you'd want to pair up with your previous partner. But unfortunately, you must find a different partner for each round of the event. If you don't have a partner by the time the next round begins, then... Yeah, yeah, Paimon already knows! If we don't have a partner in time, then we'll be disqualified. <sighs> Let's ask around and see if there's anyone looking for a partner. Traveler, Paimon, I had a feeling you two would be here. Oh, Yaimia, you're here too? Mm-hmm. I was also here for the first round, but I arrived a little early, so maybe that's why I didn't see you. By the way, I heard you were the winners. Impressive. I eventually found the hidden dongo milk too, but it was already too late. <laughs> Actually, Paimon still doesn't know how we managed to find it. I'm almost just hiding behind her the whole time, and somehow we won! Traveler, you ever told me you were so good at this sort of event? 
You weren't keeping it a secret, were you? Anyway, would you like to pair up with me? We'd be an amazing team! With us working together, the second round will be a piece of cake. <laughs> awesome! Don't worry, you'll see that being on my team is a blast! Now let's get out there and win this thing! We'll move faster than a firework shooting straight into the sky! It'll be like whoosh! And the round will be ours! You appear to have found a partner. Let's see if you can repeat your luck from the first round. Though, whether winning should be considered good luck or not is debatable. <laughs> anyway, I will now reveal the item you'll be searching for in the second round of the Test of Courage. It's a fan. A fan? You mean like the thing we use to keep cool when it's hot out? Correct. The fan was personally selected by the Yashiro Commissioner himself and has been placed somewhere in the Chinju Forest. There will be signs to guide the way, but beware. The darkness that lurks in the forest is drawing nearer. <laughs> Remember, if you can't go on any further, you can always give up and live to see another day. We'll never give up! And pretty strong ones from the looks of it. I'll hold on to them. <laughs> They'll come in real handy for the next Onikabuto tournament. transform into a lavender melon. Hey! Paimon's over here! That doesn't even look like Paimon! Hmm? So what in the world is this? Hey! It's flying away! Don't go! Let me have a look at ya! Whew. This should be far enough. Are you tired, Paimon? Do you want to take a break? here. It's so beautiful. Uh, but now that I look closer, it seems like the lanterns are floating in midair. How is that possible? Uh, that's definitely not normal. Hey, can I borrow your shoulders for a second? You can give me a boost and I'll pull one of them down. Hey, look what we have here. Isn't this the fan we're looking for? Wow, it has such a beautiful design on it. Are those fireworks? It seems to be for some sort of festival. So now that we've found this fan, does that mean we've won the second round of the Test of Courage? Let's bring it back. 
<sighs> Thank goodness it's over. Hmm. Wonder if Ito's still out trying to capture those three from earlier. Paimon's a little worried about him. Uh... Why don't we have a look around? Hmm? Is there something else you need to take care of? How about I take the fan back then? Thank you. That would help. No need to thank me. It's been a blast doing the test of courage with you guys. I'd love to do it again. <laughs> I've got you now. Ah! Just run! Don't worry about me! Ha! Don't underestimate this, Sony. None of you are getting away today. Hey! It's Ito! It looks like he captured those three we were looking for. Let's go see! Wow, Ito, you really captured them! Seriously, why didn't you run when I told you? What are you saying? We couldn't abandon you? Yeah, that's right. So just get on with it. And if you're gonna eat us, then you'll have to deal with all three of us. We won't back down, even if... Uh, even if we're already in your stomach. Who said we were going to eat you? Wait, are you the ghost of something tasty? And Ito, why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Hmm, I have a weird feeling that I've seen these three somewhere before. Ah, oh, I know! These are all creatures from the Ultimate Yokai Field Guide that Granny used to show me! There's Yoko, Kappa, and Hitotsume Kozo! They're all Yokai! It sure took you long enough to notice. Well, we recognized you right away! You're an Oni, aren't you? According to legends, Oni are grouchy, extremely strong, and crush other yokai into balls to eat them up. Oh, pfft, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Who came up with that? Besides, you're the ones people are scared of, hiding behind bushes and scaring people off the road. What are you trying to do here? Don't think I didn't see you, following her around and conjuring up all sorts of weird, scary stuff. Aha! So it was you three. No, we weren't trying to scare anyone. We were just trying to, uh... Um... Uh... Really? You're not... mad? Even though you scared the daylights out of Paimon a few times, it doesn't seem like you were doing it on purpose. Anyway, let's hear your side of the story, and Paimon will decide whether or not to forgive you. Um... Well, the truth is, we were planning a festival. One hosted by the yokai. But humans are also welcome to attend. Ah! The festival that A mentioned! Mikawa Flower Festival. Huh, that does ring a bell. Oh, right! It used to be hosted by the top yokai! I heard it was supposed to be a lot of fun! I mean, not as fun as my almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drum Along Festival, but still. Yes, the Mikawa Flower Festival is our aspiration. But we know that our festival doesn't deserve that name. The times of Yakiyako are long gone. We're just a bunch of little yokai living in the wilderness. As you can see, we lack the necessary yokai powers to put on such a grand festival. But... We're determined to still reach out to humans and express our gratitude. Huh? Gratitude? What do you mean? Mm-hmm. You see, we live in the wilderness and are frequently attacked by monsters. They would come and stir up trouble on our land, forcing us to hand over our food. Sometimes, they would even get rough and leave us injured. But later, many human adventurers came into the wilderness and drove off the monsters allowing us to live in peace. Ah, I get it now. You want to repay the favor, but, uh, your powers are too puny. Hey, don't let it get to ya. You might be a bunch of pipsqueaks, but you're all solid yokai in my book. So, are you the ones who set up the Akitsu Yugen game on the beach? Yep, that was us. Have you tried it yet? Isn't it fun? We drew inspiration from the legendary Akitsu Hazura. It took a lot of yokai power to set it up. After that, we didn't have much yokai power left, so we set up some stalls in the forest to add to the festival atmosphere. We were just following you to see your reactions. 
Is the Akitsu Yugen really that important? Why did you spend all of your yokai power to build it? Paimon would have taken the Traveler for a big meal if you had set up more food stalls. Really? To be honest, we've never met a human before, so we had no idea what you would like. We focused on building the Akitsu Yugen because of a legend we heard. Ah, uh, I know the one. It's the story of yokai meeting a human during a festival hundreds of years ago. It's said that long ago, a human samurai once stumbled across the Mikawa Flower Festival. Huh? What's a human doing here? We erected the barrier, didn't we? Ah, uh, what a pain. The yokai at the festival began discussing how to drive away the human. Huh? When suddenly, they heard a voice. Oh. Oh. Ah. This is our festival. And the point is to have fun. What difference does it make if a human joins us yokai? <laughs> the speaker appeared to be a prominent figure among the yokai. And when he spoke, the other yokai fell silent. You there, young man. Do you drink sake? Uh, yes, I do. Ha! Then join us! We can enjoy tonight's festivities together! <laughs> and so, the yokai and samurai celebrated together. The two competed in the highlight of the festival, the Akitsu Hazara. Their spectacular game ended in a draw, and a new friendship was forged. <laughs> I can't believe a human could keep up with me! Witnessing the dynamic powers of the yokai will certainly help hone my swordsmanship. You're a swordsman? Oh, yes. I'm currently traveling the world in search of formidable opponents. Then let's make a deal. We meet for a duel every ten years. What do you say? Hmm. I look forward to it. The Mikawa Flower Festival is meant to bring happiness to all who attend, and Akitsu Hazara is a symbol of friendship. That's why, when we decided to hold the festival here, setting up Akitsu Hazara was our first priority. Unfortunately, the real Akitsu Hazara has been lost to time. What we created is a version of the game we heard about from a wandering merchant, so we changed the name to Akitsu Yugen. Yeah, but that wasn't us. We have no idea what could have gone wrong. We closed Akitsu Yugen a while ago and carefully checked it for any issues. But we didn't find anything wrong with it. Maybe it was just some strange mishap caused by our unstable yokai power at the time. Hmm. They don't look like they're lying. And believe me, I know a liar when I see one. Maybe it really was just an accident. After that incident, people stopped coming to the attraction. Later, a human man with blue hair appeared and walked around the area. He had a piercing gaze. I almost felt like he could see us. But then he turned and quickly left without saying anything. It wasn't long before large numbers of people began coming to the Jinju Forest. And visitors were playing Akitsu Yugen again. It was wonderful. A human man with blue hair? Now that you mention it, the fan that Ayato chose is the same kind that's used at a festival. Do you think that he knew about the yokai when he decided to hold the test of courage here? Oh, so my bro Ayato is here for the test of courage too? Or maybe he's here to catch Oni Kabuto! Ha! <laughs> Had I known that, I would have brought the one I caught a few days ago to battle him! Wow! Ito's still clueless about who Ayato really is! Well, anyway, seems like all the strange things we saw earlier were caused by these little yokai, not ghosts! Huh, <sighs> what a relief. And now that we know what's happening, the test of courage doesn't seem that scary after all! Hey, you want to hang out with humans, right? I totally get that. After all, we yokai are becoming a rare breed these days. If all we do is isolate, we'll only feel more lonely. So why don't you let this oni do you a favor, hmm? See, I'm a yokai too, right? And I'm already a natural in human society. I bet there's not a single person in Inazuma who hasn't heard of Arataki, the one and only Ito. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I'll show you around. 
Now that Paimon doesn't feel so scared anymore, maybe we can walk around the area. The yokai said they wanted to host a festival, but Paimon was too busy having the bejeebers scared out of her to pay any attention until now. Come to think of it, Paimon remembers seeing some festival-related items on the beach. Let's head over there and take a look. Maybe we can help out. <laughs> You two again. I have to say I'm impressed by your willingness to approach me after last time. You're much braver than I thought. But I'm not going to let you off the hook so easily this time. If you don't leave, I'll... Hmm. Nice try, but you don't scare us anymore. We just met your fellow yokai and they told us everything. Huh? Hello, yokai. That's right. You're another little yokai who lives in the wilderness, aren't you? We just met Yoko, Kappa, and Hitotsume Kozo. So which type of yokai are you, hmm? Oh, let Paimon guess. Uh... Hmm... Actually, Paimon has no idea what you are. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're on our way to play Akitsu Yugen. Care to join us? Akitsu Yugen. Again, that game. How could this be happening now? All I needed was a little more time, and I could. Huh? What's the matter? Are you not feeling well? Oh, maybe you're hungry, or maybe you didn't sleep well. You look pretty exhausted. Don't worry, Ito has already taken your fellow yokai to meet some new friends. Everyone will get along just fine. Yeah, so there's no need to worry. Come on, let's go play a Kitsu Yugen. We'll see who can finish the game the quickest. The loser will have to grant the winner a wish. Oh, it's starting! Get ready.
Paimon thinks we got this in the bag. All right, it's your turn. Okay, watch and learn. Even if the rules have changed a little, I would never lose to amateurs like you. Oh, right. You're a yokai. You're the ones who created a Kitsuyugen. No wonder you're so good. Anyway, we'll keep our word. You can make a wish now. But before you say anything, we won't do anything that's clearly impossible or harmful to others. A wish, huh? Then I wish... that we never cross paths again. Wait, what? But didn't we just have a great time together? That's precisely why. Don't ever come near me or speak to me again. Surely that's a wish you can fulfill, right? This is my final word of warning. If I ever see your faces again, I will... I'll steal your souls! Scared now? Good! Then don't come here again! Uh... Paimon doesn't get it. Did we do something wrong? Oh, fair enough. But... Paimon had a lot of fun playing a Kitsuyugen with her. It would be great if we could see her again. Anyway, let's go see how Ito's doing. You must be Hitatsume Kozo. Y yeah <laughs> No need to be nervous. I'm Yuimiya, and I run Naganohara Fireworks. Oh, I once saw some Naganohara Fireworks. Even though I was watching from a distance, they were still so beautiful, bursting across the sky. Really? Then the next time we meet, I'll bring some fireworks for us to launch together. It'll be fun. Whoa, really? Thank you very much. And if I may ask, are you Lord Kaedehara Kazuha? Yes, that's me. But I'm afraid that I'm no lord, just a wandering samurai. I've seen you with your sword in the wilderness. You made quick work of many opponents with your amazing swordsmanship. Ah, uh, that must have been when I was trying to escape Inazuma. It wasn't as impressive as you make it seem. I had to face many trying situations before I was able to leave the islands. The head of the Kamisato clan also lent me his assistance at the time. By the way, this is his sister. Oh, so y you must be the one and only Shirasagi Himegimi. What an honor. There's no need to be so formal. I never imagined I'd ever meet someone as distinguished as you. I must be dreaming. Hey, don't you want to go talk to them too? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rather shy. Really? That's strange. You seemed completely fine when we were chatting. I'm not sure why, but I feel so relaxed when talking with you, General Goro. <laughs> Actually, I'm the most timid of the three of us. I hid for days the last time someone tossed a stone into the river. <laughs> Sorry for rambling on. It's odd. I'm not normally like this. Uh, it's okay. You can't excel at everything. 
The important thing is to have the courage to change. Hey there. <laughs> Chatting away, I see. Mind if I join you? I've never seen a kappa before. Uh, hello there. Thank you for bringing so many amazing people to meet us, Ito. Ah, <laughs> it's nothing. Being the one and only means being the best, you know? Oh, I should mention that uh, I even have my own gang, and every member has a special title. Classic Ito! There you go, bragging about yourself, again! Don't confuse them. Everyone's here for the test of courage, not because you brought them here. Half the people here don't even know who you are. Hey, this is my moment, Paimon. Don't ruin it for me. <laughs> Ito really isn't as cool as he claims to be. When it comes to having connections in Inazuma, nobody can beat Paimon and the Traveler. Oh, yeah? All right. Well, then let's have a little contest and see who knows the most people. Sure, bring it on, Bull Checker Beetle Boy. Um, uh, uh, please don't fight. Actually, I think you're both really amazing. And you also have a great friendship, just like Lord Kamai and the Samurai. <laughs> well, of course. Boss! Oh, it's the boys! Ah, darn it. I was so caught up with the yokai that I forgot I was supposed to scare the daylights out of the gang. Boss! <clears throat> uh, hey, fellas. Look, I can explain. I... Boss! Boss we're we're sorry. sorry! Wait, what now? We shouldn't have ever doubted you, boss. You were right. Yeah, the test of courage is terrifying. There are definitely ghosts here. I still get shivers just thinking about it. But the thrill was kind of fun. Oh, uh... <laughs> well, I told you it would be an exhilarating experience, but no, none of you believed me. Anyway, no need to be too scared now. Let me tell you what's happening here. It turns out there aren't any ghosts here. All the scary stuff you saw was just a little misunderstanding we had with the yokai. Right? Ah, uh, sorry, but I've never seen these three before. I'm not sure where you've been or what you've seen, but I don't think it had anything to do with us. Huh? Huh? Wait, hold on, little Yoko. You're kidding, right? Wait, you know, now's not really the time for that. N no, I'm serious. I really don't know what's going on. But if it wasn't you guys, does that mean there are real ghosts out here? Oh, that's right. Paimon assumed she was a yokai, too. And we even played a Kitsu Yukin with her! Uh... I... I'm not sure who it was you met. But we're the only three yokai who wanted to hold a festival here. Calm down. Everyone j just calm down now. What's all the noise about? Oh, you're the Tenryo Commission's... Hazel! There's nothing to fear. Even if there really is a ghost, only your noise would drive it away. Ito, you and your gang should go and inform the other contestants about the situation. Traveler, Paimon, please come with me. Oh, okay. <sighs> Paimon somehow feels a little better now that Hazo's here. Don't freak out, boys. Whatever happens, I'll protect you. You're, You're the, the best, best boss! boss. Thank you. 
Recite this to yourself. Keep your mind clear and at peace. Free your thoughts from spirits and ghosts. Those were Her Excellency's remarks in the directive. She once said, there is nothing to be afraid of as long as your conscience is clear. Oh, if only Her Excellency were here. She would get to the bottom of all this in no time. Could the rumors be true then? Do strange phenomena really happen every time the test of courage is held? Please, be careful. <laughs> Unease pervades the air, and fear is spreading. Maybe this is the real test of courage. It's already becoming an unforgettable experience for me. I believe my lord had foreseen this situation. He has my absolute trust. But given Lady Ayaka is still here, we must get to the bottom of this as soon as possible. So, is there really a ghost around here? I'm gonna go look for it! I've never seen a ghost before! Oh, how exciting! Shh. This is one of my usual hiding spots. It's always safe here. Let me show you a trick. Just cover your eyes, and the scary things will go away. Uh, hello? Miss Shy Maiden? Uh, huh. Strange. She isn't here. What's this? Look, there's something written in red on the bulletin board! Round three, item, Hagoita. Does this mean that the item we have to find in the third round is a Hagoita? The Shrine Maiden appears to be urging us to finish the third round of the Test of Courage. But, where did she go? <gasps> Has she been taken away by a ghost? Will Paimon be next? Paimon will never leave your side now! The words are scribbled hastily, but there's no evidence of a struggle. However, aren't there too many words written here? I believe that the three items chosen for this three-round contest were each selected by the three organizing parties. The Dongo Milk was chosen by the merchant who funded the event, and the fan was chosen by the Yashiro Commission, which provided the staff. So, does the Hagoita, which should have been chosen by the Grand Narukami Shrine, have any unique significance? Let's worry about that later. The bigger question is, are we really going to join the third round of the Test of Courage? Paimon would love to win the grand prize, but our safety comes first! Tactical retreat. I still have my commission to complete, so I'll stay. Fear arises from mystery, and it's a detective's job to unearth the truth from the mystery. <sighs> Paimon somehow feels a little better after hearing you say that. Okay then, let's wait for a while. Maybe the Shrine Maiden had something to take care of and we'll be back soon. Traveler, Paimon, please let me be your partner for the final round of the Test of Courage. I'd like your assistance with this investigation, since you two are the only ones who have seen the alleged ghost. That's fine with Paimon. What do you think, Traveler? 
I have a few theories, but we don't have enough leads yet. There are some places I'd like to investigate first, so you two can accompany me. Sure! Where would you like to start? I want to go back to where we first met up. According to your accounts, you encountered the ghost there and passed out. I believe there may still be some clues there. Uh, do we really have to go there? What if we're walking into a trap? Are you worried that she'll be waiting for us? If anything, that would make things easier. My worry is that we won't be able to find her. Honestly, it'd save me a lot of trouble if she were to show up on her own. Wow, Hazel! You're fearless! The more cases you see, the less afraid you become. Let's go.